The wire light cable camera rig is one of my favorite bits of location filmmaking equipment. It's lightweight, easy to set up and use, super versatile. I'm still finding out new ways to use it in different situations and being in lockdown at the moment with this um, COVID pandemic has inspired me to try out a few new ideas. So far, I've mainly been using my wireless cam outdoors, but today I'm gonna share an awesome trick I've just discovered that will open up some new possibilities for using your wireless cam indoors as well. For indoor shooting, what has held me back until recently is finding good attachment points. Outdoors, it's easy, just rig your cable between a couple of trees and you're good to go. But indoors, there isn't usually a lot of options for attaching the cable to, and no one wants you drilling bolts into their walls. So I had planned to shoot this video at a very cool coastal resort not far from here. But as we're in lockdown in New Zealand and uh, any sort of travel is restricted at the moment, I'm having to shoot this whole video at home. Anyway, I can still find some examples to show you um, how to rig the wire light camera indoors using this new method I've come up with. And when this is all over and we can get out again, I'll shoot another video with some more creative indoor applications somewhere really cool. So as this is more of a demo of how to rig the wire light indoors, I'm keeping it simple and just running with the GoPro Hero 7 for this. Uh, normally I'd probably run the GH5, which gives a beautiful, high quality stabilized image. But actually the uh, Hero 7 does a pretty good job and fine for what we're doing right now. Right, we'll start with an indoor to outdoor shot first. Pretty straightforward first anchor. Let's come around here, around the pillar, attach that here and we roll it out. Come through the door here. All right, so the second anchor point is where my trick comes in. So I've found two ways of doing this. One is this little bit of webbing. It's got a toggle on the back, loop on it. Slip that over the top of the door, shut the door, and then you've got a good solid anchor as your other end of your cable. The other option I found is this, I think it was um, like a sit-up bar or something like that, um, but it's designed to fit over the top of the door as well. There you go, another solid anchor that you can put your cable onto. Right, now we can put the camera on. And as I said, this is all about demonstrating how to rig the wire light indoors. So I'm not going to a lot of trouble with the actual shots. In fact, this is all raw, unmanipulated footage straight off the GoPro. I just happen to have this GoPro set up on 4K wide, but you should really use a linear setting for anything like this, so you don't get that barrel distortion. The other big thing to remember when setting up your line inside is to make sure there's enough clearance for the wire light and the camera as it passes through doorways, over countertops, etc. Now we'll try an outdoor to indoor shot and I'm just going to use this chimney, which isn't hot by the way, as my anchor point. Perfect. Alright, come out the store here. So, I think we can probably attach this tree out here. And this is just a normal attachment, so we'll just use the regular sling. Put that around the tree. That's about the right height. And clip onto here, lock it off, and you're good to go. Setting exposures indoors can be tricky too, especially in situations like this when you've got a mix of bright sunlight and shadowed areas. Of course, each time you set up the line, you can do several runs with the camera facing in different directions. Forwards, backwards, 90 degrees, 45, they're all gonna give you slightly different perspectives and that's the beauty of the wireless cam. For one run, can give you so many different angles. Remember though, each time you point the camera in a different direction, you should change your exposure settings. 
As I'm just using the GoPro for this demonstration, it's on auto exposure, which is not ideal for shooting indoor to outdoor sequences. Now we'll try a continuous shot from one room, through this main room, and right up to the other end of the house. Right, for this end of the shot, I'm just gonna use a curtain rail. Um, if you are doing this, make sure it's a strong one. Clip that around onto itself. Hopefully that'll hold. Okay, so we're gonna use our same old trick of the door frame. Pop that up behind there. Close the door. It's already locked on here. Now I'm going to clip into my reel. Draw it up tight. All right, and we're ready to go again. You can see how the Wildcam system gives you some cool possibilities for shooting nice pass-through shots, making it great for travel filmmaking where you might want to showcase a nice resort, or for real estate videography. Anyway, I hope this has given you some inspiration for rigging your wire light indoors. Um, with a bit more time to get creative and mix up your shot angles, there are heaps of possibilities for putting together some awesome indoor sequences. Um, just a quick note, you'll notice the line is visible in some of the shots I've used in this video, but that's because this is just a quick and rough tutorial. If you go to Worrell's YouTube channel, you'll see they've made a very cool tutorial on how to remove the line easily in After Effects. Don't let COVID stifle your creativity, it's not going to last forever. And please subscribe if you want to see more gear reviews and behind the scenes filmmaking adventures.